we're back. So it's a uh, chilly day, as you can see, I got my jacket on. I think it got down to about 29 last night. So uh, it's a cloudy overcast and it was raining this morning here in Stanley. But uh, Michelle and I are actually headed out um, to town, to Stanley, Idaho. We're gonna go stop by the mercantile uh, shop, the general store, pick up a few things that uh, we need. Um, we're not gonna get a whole lot there because I'm sure it's gonna be really expensive. Fill up with some gas. We might take you over to Redfish Lake after that. So hang on, here we go. Village Mercantile, here we are. It's only probably like a five minute drive from the campsite, so uh, we're gonna go inside and check it out. Yeah, here we go. This is a cute little store. Um, they got a little, little bit of everything from camping gear to food to toiletries, and baby stuff, um, fresh fruit. So uh, we just ran out of eggs this morning, so we were gonna probably pick up a dozen eggs here, but. Uh, I don't know. We'll talk about it because I feel like we're being held hostage. Uh, $6.69 for a dozen eggs. So that's three times what we usually pay. Um, but there really is nothing else anywhere close around here. Um, we're only here for about three more days, so we may just hold off um, and uh, find some other stuff. They do have Rainier beer. Nomadic Fanatic, if you're watching. Rainier beer. Luckily, we're not running real low yet on uh, Dye Mountain Dew. As you know, we both really love that stuff. Um, because uh, 12 pack. A dollar a can, you'd be better off buying it from a uh, vending machine. Forward, zero for two today. No groceries, but we did get gas. Well, and, and luckily, I mean, we're good on groceries, but there were just a few things we were out of, like eggs, and we usually have eggs every day, but that's something we can do without. But uh, we did get gas. Um, it was probably about 50 cents more per gallon than we were paying when we just came over from Glacier. Um, and then we went to the Redfish Lake Visitor Center and um, we were the only car in the parking lot. <laughs> Big old sign says closed. We're not exactly sure why. It's a Friday. Um, but we decided to come out here to the North Shore Day Use area and show you uh, Redfish Lake. It's pretty amazing. Um, I don't know if you've already seen it in this video earlier, but as we drove by Little Redfish Lake, it was like glass. It was perfectly crystal smooth. So it would have been a perfect day to kayak there, but we're, uh, we're not going out on the boat today at least. So. Welcome to Redfish Lake. Look what we found. Three bucks. <laughs> we uh, came over to the lodge here at Redfish Lake just to look around from this perspective. And they had eggs in the general store and I asked them and she said they were three dollars. So bonus, we got eggs now. Yes. We can eat eggs again until we leave on uh, on Tuesday afternoon. So, yeah, we're here at the lodge. They got a nice beach area here. Um, they also rent mountain bikes. So if you're looking in the area and you don't have your mountain bike with you, um, you can definitely rent one here. I'm going to walk out towards the marina a little bit. Check this out. Travel day. So uh, we are getting ready to head out from our location here near Stanley, Idaho, and we are heading south like the migrating birds. So um, we're gonna take you on a little mo a little RV life day again um, with our travel day. So we are going to head out. It's around noon on a Tuesday. We're going to actually be heading down to a town called Burley, Idaho, where we're going to stay at a harvest host. We'll tell you more about that later on down the road. And that's about the halfway mark. 
and then we'll get up tomorrow morning and head towards our final destination near Provo, Utah. It's actually Saratoga Springs, Utah, I believe, um, is the official mailing address for the location we're uh, planning to stay. Um, shout out to Eric and Kristen who told us about this site and we're looking forward to getting down there and checking it out. So you can see we uh, got pretty much all the camper packed up and uh, we're just kind of finishing up some last minute things inside and then we're gonna hit the road. The cats are loaded. There's Michelle. See you there. So we're all, been on the road for about a half an hour and we pulled over at a scenic overlook to show you guys what we can see here in uh, central Idaho as we start to head south. Um, plus we're climbing quite a bit of elevation. Um, we started I think at around 6300 and we're probably about 8300 now. So uh, the road's pretty twisty here on 75 south so we also stopped to uh, let Mushi calm down. He uh, sometimes gets car sick if we're doing a lot of twists and turns. So here's our view. Idaho. We made it to our harvest host. Uh, let me show you our scenery. We're right here on the river. So this is called the Boathouse in Burley and it is in the process of being renovated and they're actually building a new bar right next door to it but there's a small little restaurant here and they're part of the harvest host program. I'll tell you more about that here uh, shortly but uh, yeah, so it was about a four hour drive, um, probably right before this clip, you probably saw um, some footage from our dash cam. I, uh, we went and uh, dumped at a dump station in Haley, Idaho. And so, hey, thanks uh, to the city of Haley for having a, a free dump station for us to use. But got talking to Rob and his wife. They're brand new on the road. They've been on the road for about a month. So, uh, you know, you probably saw some clips of me just hanging out there at the dump station talking RV stuff. So, um, yeah, so we are going to be here for the night. We're going to go in and frequent the restaurant because that's kind of the arrangement that you make when you sign up for Harvest Host is that you're okay with spending a little bit of money at the local establishment that's giving you a free place to park. So looking forward to uh, the meals. I've seen um, uh, quite a few comments about them. They are really, really good. So we'll take a little of that video when we get inside. We're going to go eat. Sure. All right, we're heading into the boathouse. Here we are eating dinner. The boathouse. Michelle? We got fancy cups for my Dr. Pepper and his Diet Coke. And a beautiful view of the water. Mm -hmm. So we ordered. I'll, we'll come back to you here in a minute once we uh, get our food so you can see what we decided to go with. But uh, we're excited. It's rare that we eat out anyway. So. A um, couple things we wanted to update you on, a little more information about Harvest Host. Um, I know a lot of you that are watching are already RVers and you probably heard it before, but for those who haven't, Harvest Host is a membership or, uh, where you pay somewhere between $75 and $125 a year and it gives you access to between $2,000 and $3,000, maybe even more at this point. Um, farms, wineries, restaurants, breweries, things like that, that allow overnight camping. Um, typically you're restricted to one overnight or one night. Uh, you can't park there for a week. Um, but then there's also a subsection of Harvest Host that's called Boondockers Welcome. Um, and that is homeowners who have land and property that they allow RVers to basically camp on. Um, and with, with Boondockers Welcome, you can typically stay anywhere from one to three, four, five days. We've stayed as long as three days in one location through Boondockers. So um, we'll put the link for more information in the uh, section below. So if you have any interest in that, 
you can check it out. Um, they just started recently adding churches to the group. So, you know, oh, and golf courses, you can add on golf courses if you want access to that. But basically, the obligation is that if you're going to stay at the um, Harvest Host location, they ask that you just support the business in, you know, buying something or in this case, going in to eat here. So we're excited. I got my first part of the meal. Claim chowder. Michelle. And I get the whole loaf of bread. Here. Okay, our food's here. I got a cheeseburger and some french fries. When we go out, I try to eat what I don't typically eat in the camper. So, hamburger it is. I ended up with uh, barbecue uh, chicken wings. They're fantastic. We got a dessert coming too. <laughs> tell you more about that later. That was a fantastic meal. Let me just tell you. Yeah, it was really good. The wings were crispy and they're perfectly done. Uh, I also got dessert. I got cheesecake with caramel. I got a brownie a la mode. Yeah. So we'll insert the photos right here. So, <laughs> all right. Uh, we're just gonna be hanging out here for the rest of the evening and uh, heading out early tomorrow morning for our next segment of the travel as we head towards our next destination of Provo, Utah. Good morning. Just about 6.30 a.m. We are getting ready to head out of here, out of our harvest host. And we're gonna swing by, get some gasoline, and then hit the road, hoping to get there down to uh, our destination probably in the next four to five hours. So we'll take you along with us. We are back. Made it to Saratoga Springs, Utah. Uh, wasn't a bad drive at all. Um, you know, we had to drive through Salt Lake City, so it's been a while since I drove through, you know, like big city traffic. Listen to me, I'm an old rural guy now, I guess. But uh, but yeah, this spot is pretty sweet. I'll turn it around and show you here um, where we're at. That is Utah Lake. And there's the wandering shores. So uh, yeah, we got set up probably about three or four hours ago and then we had to run into town to pick up some groceries from Walmart. Um, <laughs> quick little story about that. So I pull into, well I dropped Michelle off at Costco so she could do some shopping there and then I went to pick up our order from Walmart, pick up and uh, pulled in logged in that I was there sat there for about 10 minutes some guy comes out he goes did you log in yet I said yeah and uh, lo and behold I had logged in at that Walmart and had ordered all my groceries from another Walmart 20 minutes away so um, yeah it's one of those lessons this isn't the first time that that's happened um, especially in a town where I'm not familiar obviously we just got here today um, and uh, clearly ordered from the wrong Walmart because the one we ordered from was probably half an hour from where we're at versus the one that I went to first was like 15 minutes. So lesson learned, if we got to order again before we leave, which probably won't, um, I'll order from the right one. So hope you enjoyed today's RV life video and taking you on the road with us today. We're going to be here in the spot um, just outside Provo, Utah for probably about another two weeks. And then we're going to head on to our next destination. So we're going to do some adventuring while we're in the area. So we'll have more videos on that. Thanks, guys.